Welcome to Engineer! A dwarf who believes the best defense is mounted with a double barrel light machine gun surrounded by proximity mines. You interpret the phrase run and gun as enemies run into your gun. With fortified positions and multiple ammo pools as part of your resource management, you're gonna need to master how, what, and when to use all your equipment. Or just be like me and bludgeon your problems with a warhead. Oh, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you aim at one swarmer with a <laughs> fucking nuclear bomb. Your expertise lie in missions that allow you to deploy your modular fortress to defend objectives. Salvage is a given since you are going to spend half the mission standing still, and on escort you can gather oil without having to babysit Doretta. You know no one else is going to do it. Now your primaries are SMGs with a sci-fi twist. Uh, and also a shotgun. First on the list is the Warthog, which I totally haven't been calling Warthog for the last year. For the most part, this shotgun does shotgun things, but you can modify your shells to abuse efficiency into your turrets, causing them to fire a super bullet in whatever direction they're looking. Speaking of shooting your sentries, let's talk about the stubby. This voltaic SMG has a chance to electrocute enemies you fire upon, but if you equip one of the unstable overclocks, you can put that energy to more use. Turret EM discharge causes whatever sentry you shoot at to emit a pulse of lightning. But what I'm more interested in is turret arc. Whenever you shoot a sentry gun, it charges it with electricity. This deals damage to anything trying to touch it, and if you zap another turret, it will create offensive lightning. You may have noticed that I didn't say your turret. That means you can gather some NG friends, all equip Gemini turrets, and establish a multi-layered taser grid. Wait, I can shock your turrets as well? Oh, oh my holy. god! What the f <laughs> But if you're looking for a more independent weapon, let me show you the Loki Smart Rifle. Despite the complexity of its design, it is rather simple. You hold down the fire button to target any hostiles and release it to watch them disappear. You can tap fire to evade using the lock-on, but it's just so good at dealing with fleas. Now we have the secondaries, which are proficient at both erasing tsunamis of enemies and obliterating gigantic adversaries. You spitballer. I missed. Never mind, I did not miss. He is very much dead. The deep core 40mm portable grenade launcher seems to have two main strategies. One is making the grenade itself do more damage than the explosion, and the other one is... The first one results in your grenade turning into a massive bullet so impactful that it vaporizes anything it hits. I don't have any nukes. Help. Oh my god, what happened to me? <laughs> what did you do? I shot a 40 Holy mil grenade into the back of your head. <laughs> you son of a... Meanwhile, the fat boy spikes your grenade with uranium, causing them to go nuclear on impact. I don't know what it is about this overclock, but every time I fire, I somehow manage to hit my allies. Specifically, Timmy. AJ, please. I'm not trying I'm to hit you. I'm running away from you, so you <laughs> stop nuking me. Just make sure you at least pretend you're sorry and leave Hoxie's more irradiated than you found it. Hey, bud. Uh, I need to kill one more of you, so, uh... The breach cutter was supposed to be used for mining, but it turns out it is more efficient at cutting bugs in half instead of rock. There is a lot of everything. Breach cutter. I have halved the population of this cave. There are dozens of weird and wacky overclocks for this plasma catapult, but regardless of what you do, it will still rip the armor and heads off of anything in its way. And lastly is the Shard Diffractor. We took a sliver of the armor and heartstone and shoved it into a plasma converter. Pulling the trigger on this experiment channels a beam of superheated death to atomize anything blocking its path. The laser splashes heat onto nearby enemies, and you can modify the tech to siphon the souls of its prey for more ammunition. And if you have the right overclock, you can hunker down and shoot a super laser by trying to reload while firing. The throwables of Engineer are AoE crowd-controlling devices to make up for the fact that sometimes you are shooting your turrets more than your enemies. The Laser Utility Refraction Emitter, or Lure for short, is a deployable hologram portraying the latest viral moves on TikTok. It seems the locals aren't a fan of how we get down, so any bugs in the vicinity will be lured to its location. If the battles manage to dismantle your dancing doppelganger, it will send out a small electrical pulse to mildly annoy anything nearby. The damage is next to negligible, so use the opportunity it provides to eradicate anything it pulled in. Yeah guys, just stay there, nothing bad will happen. On the simple side of things, we have the Plasma Burster. Once this grenade makes contact with the surface, it will send out four bursts of plasma in quick succession. It may not take down enemies like the 40mm, but if something survives getting washed with superheated material, they'll think otherwise about messing with you. Another device with this mechanic is the Proximity Mine. You can only place down four of these explosives at any given time and can pick them back up if they haven't started detonating. And keeping with the theme of fours, each proxy mine explodes up to four times before being destroyed. 
And if you're looking for a duration-based weapon instead of a charge-based one, the Shredder Swarm's got you covered. This fleet of rival tech will hunt down any non-perforated living surfaces and do their best effort to change that. And as I alluded to earlier, instead of their performance being limited by use, the Shredder Swarm will stick around until 40 seconds have elapsed or you summon another battalion of Bauxite Bees. Or if individual Shredders have dealt 140 damage. And there you have it, the Sentia Mobile Defense Platform with some assembly required. So summon your boys, kick up your feet, and watch the carnage unfold. Oi! Turrets! Kill that Mac Terra right the f*** now! Get it! <laughs> <laughs> he came in, it was like, nah, dude, I ain't playing with that.